ready? Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us, sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So, sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. So, you guys remember the other day I had did the video on the mom at Walmart with the baby that took the baby out there. It was cold around that time in Mississippi. She's dressed, you know, in her little Mexican boots and, you know, a sweatshirt. Meanwhile, her baby's in there in just a pamper. So the mother was arrested. Um, they found out who she was. She was arrested. And like I said, if she can do that in public, imagine what's going on behind the scenes. Once the police um, came to Walmart to arrest her, they found out that the baby that was in the cart with her, he was four years old, but she had another, she had two more kids at the house. They were by themselves in the house. One was three and the other, the littlest baby is five months old. So she literally had her three-year-old babysitting her five-month-old. So she needed to be arrested. I just, I thought it was bullshit. I hated the fact that, you know, that this baby even had to deal with that. So we're gonna watch this video really quick. Let me see if I can find it. Let me share this tab with y'all. And then we're gonna watch her video. Cause you know, of course, now she's demanding a whole fund me. She wants, you know, money now. So this is the story here. Um, police were called. She's facing neglect charges. Her name is Cambria Darby. She entered a Mississippi Walmart with her barely dressed toddler. The toddler was only seen in his diaper and had no garments on. Um, the shopper and now former employee Felicia Darlin showed concerns and they basically you know, got her arrested. According to WJTTV, police arrived at the store about 10.30 a.m and arrested the mother, and she's facing neglect charges. So now she's trying to talk about the situation. So we're gonna go ahead and watch the video. So give me just a second to pull up her video where she's talking about, she's trying to basically speak on her side of the story. She's saying that, you know, her babies are good. She feeds them, they have all types of toys. But most importantly, we can't forget, she's demanding a whole fund me. She does not like the fact that the Walmart employee is getting $29,000 from GoFundMe, and she feels like that money should come to her and her children. Child. Okay, let me go ahead and get this up here. All right, here she goes. We're going to go ahead and watch, watch this here. You wasn't helping with a thing. You didn't help with a thing. You actually made stuff worse. First of all, you have a child that's dead. Rest in peace to your baby. I, I pray that God can have you with more kids, which I'm, I'm sure he will. He'll definitely bless you with more children. Um, But so as a mother, you should know what it feels like to have some, have your kids. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is what we're not going to do. Come on, black people. I'm not even trying to be funny. But we have to stop with the smoke detector beeping in the background. I, too, have been guilty of this. Not judging. But at some point in time, we got to keep C batteries on deck. My smoke detector was going off the other day. I ran upstairs. Couldn't reach it, so I called my son. As soon as you get home, you got to change this. And, of course, you know, because he's, you know, black folks, he put the battery in backwards. <laughs> so we have to redo it. But come on. Please, y'all. Change the battery on your smoke detectors. This is starting to be an internet meme. Do better. I'm taken away from you. So right now, um, I lost 10 pounds currently because my kids are gone for me. I haven't seen my kids. Um, I, I see them now under restrict, restrict, certain restrictions. But like my son, he doesn't understand why. Like he need therapy now. He can't understand why I'm gone. Like in the public, it's too much going on in the public right now. We can't. I can't even take him to Chuck E. Cheese under supervision if I wanted to anywhere, because people I'm getting like har harassments and things like that. So, um, well, you know, well, ma'am, if you're being harassed, how about you just twerk? Just get up and shake your ass. Well, isn't that what you was doing at Walmart? Oh, couldn't stop shaking your ass when they were confronting you. So keep the same energy. When they confront you, just twerk. Okay. 
Okay, just twerk something. What's the problem? Situation. I, I really feel bad for my Child, where's my violin? I my ear when I'm thinking about a lot of stuff. And he, every time I see him, he's like, Doing the same, you know, he is mama's child. He does the same thing. And I'm like, baby, like, it's going to be all right. You know, and stuff like that. Like, I just really can't explain to him for, for real, for real. He's only four years old. So, that's with that. Um, I know a lot of y'all want to know, that baby must be living in horrible living conditions. Horrible. If he's treated like that here, I wonder how he's treated at home. This is a period, a period, sorry, a decimal of what... That's 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 nothing. That's like baby stuff. That's like, ma'am, them having power wheels, pow pow power wheels. That doesn't mean anything. You can buy your kids all types of toys, gadgets, you know, fun things. But are you actually spending time with your children? That is the question. Because the power wheel can't keep him warm. As a mother, he should have had on a full outfit, coat shoes and everything else how are you spending more on a power wheel than what he's dressed like when he comes out the house nothing i'm talking private vip to see disney vip to see blippy they met this man they met um who else they meet they, they do well we do a lot of, i do a lot of different activities with my kids and do water parks i do Arts and crafts with my kids. I don't give my kids melatonin. Okay, that's cute. She does, she does arts and crafts. They done met Blippi or Blinky, whatever the hell his name is. They done been to Disney World. She doesn't get the melatonin. But yet and still, you didn't give him a coat. This is why we're here. You're telling us all the stuff that you do to him, but the most basic things that you should have done is not allow your son to come out the house in the middle of winter with no coat, no shoes, and only a pamper on. We don't care that he's been to Disney World and that he's hung with Blippi. Because from what I hear anyways, Blippi, you know, he be on some weird ass shit with them babies. Whatever the hell his damn name is. So, yeah, I don't care about none of that. You know, I'm not saying against the people that do, but I don't do that. You know, I do everything. I read my kids books. Um, let them run around. I let my kids do a lot. I do a lot. Of Every holiday I decorate for them. <laughs> I hate the um, smoke detector. It's like, as y'all can see, it's decorated in here now, which it was decorated before they, they even left. So, like, yeah. Um, my kids live in Cupid, everything else, like I stated before in my Facebook post, which I, I'm going to put my page back up, but I just kind of got off of there. Wait, point. did she say her kids believe in Cupid? Ma'am, Cupid is not real. Impress me by letting me know that your kids believe in God or some form of, you know, you know, higher power. I, I don't care if they believe in Cupid. Like, my kids believe in Cupid. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> what? They're four and three. Who cares? I'm not impressed. Um, so it's nothing how y'all try to say horrible living conditions. Never that. Never, never, ever, 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 ever. Never that. So um, that's that about that. My biggest thing right now, though, um, is the false allegations that's out there about me. Not a bad mama, never been a bad mama. It's, I, my main thing, really, honestly, is just I, I miss my kids. Like I said, I don't miss, lost 10 pounds already. Um, I can't really eat. Like, I, like, like I'm chewing gum now. I do stuff like that. Can't eat but chewing gum like a mofo, okay? The damn smoke detector in the background is getting on my nerves. She says she's lost 10 pounds. I can believe that. You know, this has to be a stressful situation for her. You know, she has three children, so I can believe that. But the question is, where is the father? Is anybody else asking, am I wrong to ask this? She has a five-month-old baby, a three-year-old, and a four-year-old. These kids are literally back to back to back. Where are the daddy at? And her kids look biracial. So where he at, sis? I'm just saying. Where the daddy? Because she didn't have these three kids by herself. My baby, he misses, he misses me, and... My biggest thing right now, I'm going to make a go for me for gas because I'm under, um, I don't really want to talk about the case too much, but I'm, I can't see my kids under like strict restrictions. I want to do raise money for gas for that. Okay, so okay, money. okay. Let me stop you there, sis. First and foremost. So now she wants a whole fund me, okay? She wants the internet to, you know, whole fund her. 
And my thing is this, we have nothing to do with this situation. If you need gas <laughs> to go see your children and for them to do indoor activities, how about you ask the man who knocked you up with these three children, where is he at? Where's Big Mama and them? Why is it the internet's job to get you gas money to go see your kids when you put yourself in this predicament? Child. For indoor activities, because right now we're not even in a safe space to even go two places we can't even go nowhere publicly like you really ruined a lot of stuff ma'am like for real but if it was actually done from the goodness of your heart you know the bible says that you want to do stuff you know those who when you do good deeds you give to the needy blah, blah, blah. i'm not needy by the way but to give to the needy okay here we go with the bible quotes you know they you can't you can't be in the south and not quote something from the bible so she's saying that the lady at Walmart messed up a lot of things. Ma'am, where is the personal responsibility? Not once did I hear her apologize. Not once did I hear her say, you know what, I was wrong. You know, I need to do better. Yes, I shouldn't have had my baby out there freezing cold. I shouldn't have threw a, a big ass bag of frozen vegetables on his thighs while he's sitting there cold. Um, don't quote Bible quotes to me. This is giving Krishan. You know, Krishan loves to cry and quote God. And then the same breath, she's beating bitches up. You know what I'm saying? And acting a fool on social media. Let's leave God out of our fuckery, okay? You don't do it. You know, like, hey, look at me. Look at me. Like how the um, hypocrites would do. You actually, you know, you do it in private, you know, to your father that is. Because you're doing it for public. It's for people that can see. You need to do it to your father that is unseen. Don't believe I saw your GoFundMe. You have received your reward in full, as the Bible states. But I'm telling you, ma'am, God could have tripled that for you. If something was done in, in, in private, but like I said, my kids are not. Okay, how was this supposed to be done in private? You bought your innocent child, okay, to a public Walmart in a pamper in the middle of, you know, the winter. And it was really, really cold that week. So you did this in public, but somehow she's supposed to pull you to the side in private. No, I believe at this point in public shaming. I think this is the only way you can get people to change you know, their behavior. Like I said, that's probably that's part of the problem around with society nowadays is that people have no shame. There's no more shame. So now that she's been shamed, now she's saying, oh, she should have pulled to the side in public. I mean, in private, absolutely not. You had no problem popping off on people in public. You started twerking and acting a fool in public, but not everybody's supposed to pull you to the side quietly. No, ma'am. Whatever y'all trying to portray it is, Nothing like that. And another thing I had wanted to mention, um, something else like bearing false, like I really believe really, this is a learning lesson for you. False witness, thou should not um, come and give false testimonies against your neighbor. That's what you're doing because situations like this. Now, my kids have to heal from this. I have to heal from this. I've been going through stuff. I don't know if you have my kids back yet. Um, but Why is she acting like she's Jesus Christ on the cross? Thou should not bear false witness. Ma'am, I wasn't there at Walmart, and I could see the bullshit that was going on. What false witness? The baby was not AI generated in a pamper. You bought your child out of the house. You were argumentative. You were rude. Even when that lady, the, the auntie that was putting the, the outfit on that baby, you said that you were more concerned with your phone call then making sure your baby was okay. So, like, what? Why is she acting like this is this huge conspiracy? You know, like the, the Bible says, we can rejoice when we run into trouble because it builds endurance. Endurance build character, and character build strength, hope, salvation. Um, everything happens for a reason. I, you tarnished my name. I'm a child's author. I'm. Um, you can look me up on Amazon or Barnes and Nobles. Um, I got author name is Kimmy Darby. For I got a book about autism that's out as well. Um, I had a when they're making them under a contract to make another book. Probably gonna have to hold off on it because you, I, I'm a kid's author. You tarnished my name. Um, no personal responsibility at all. Now she's a kid's author. She has books on Amazon. She might be. But let's keep it real. Anybody can write a book and put it on Amazon.
Amazon ain't going to say, we don't want your money. Yes, put your book on here and pay us X amount of dollars. You know what I'm saying? Every time your book sells. Like, girl, that means nothing. At the end of the day, nobody knew who you were until you put yourself in this situation. But I got faith in God. Um, like I said, you have received your reward in full. They're little twenty thousand. God could have tripled it and make it two hundred thousand. You know. But okay, this is why she's really mad. We're getting to the nitty gritty. Okay, and I haven't watched this full video, so we're watching it together. This is why she's really mad. Now you hear her talking about you know, that twenty thousand dollars. God could have tripled it in full. Okay, let's keep. Let's, this is why she's really in her feelings. Let's keep it real. Everything happens for a reason. This is bringing me closer to God. I'm trying some tribulations. Um, oh, <laughs> Did y'all hear the smoke detector say, Tink, low battery. Bitch, go change your smoke detector. Low battery. Damn, these 2023, well, no, we're in 2024 now, honey. They're not playing. They're not just beeping. They're saying, low battery, bitch. Change the smoke detector. Low battery. <laughs> what? <laughs> I've never heard them talk. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Everybody that's defending me, thank you. Everybody's praying for me, thank you. I did want to say it. This not go back and forth for anymore. You know, if you got to say something, say it. We're going to find a positive in every negative, you know? This makes me appreciate my kids 10 times more, you know? Um, 10, 10 times, definitely 10 times more. Um, definitely find the, the positive in every negative situation. I ask that y'all don't go back and forth with anybody. We're not doing that. We're not going back and forth with people online. Bitches, bitches, his mind says the Lord. His wrath cannot compare. You know? So, and nobody needs to question God neither. Like, why is he giving this girl money? The girl that posted the video money. Okay. We don't need to question him either because we can't tell him how to move his hand. It says that. I don't know swear. We can't tell him how to move his hand. Okay, Miss Low Battery, okay? The reason why she's getting money is because stupid-ass Walmart fired her, okay? They fired her for posting a video of you. The internet sympathized with her because she was only trying to get the message out. Because, like I said, I'm here for public shaming. Because what was done to that child was just, it was uncalled for. It was embarrassing. You had no remorse in the store. She decided to post the video. She was fired. She's getting money. She's getting her blessings because people feel like it was unfair for her to be fired. So many people donated to her GoFundMe. That is why she's getting money. It has nothing to do with why is God blessing her and why is his hand on her forehead and not on mine. Why are you over here doing all this preaching? He's going to do what he's going to do. He's going to do what he's going to do for me too. And I know the outcome. I will push through this like the lady was pushing through the crowd to just to touch the hem of Jesus' garment. And her faith, because of her faith, when she wanted, it, it was done. So I'm going to push through. <laughs> I'm going to push through this. I'm going to still smile, still get up, make my bed every day. I can't eat. You know, I can eat a little bit, probably like a little much, much here, but it's about just meals and stuff. I can't do that. Losing weight, I asked God, you know, God, I need help losing this baby weight. I just had a baby like five months ago. God works in mysterious ways. He's helping me with that, so. <laughs> Girl, that is not, that was not God. You had a baby five months ago and you had your three-year-old babysitting your five-month-old while you was at Walmart twerking and cussing out strangers. That's not God. That's that's not God's way. God didn't want you to lose 10 pounds of baby weight because you were visited by social services. I think he'd much rather have you with your children and being a good mom and a good stewarder, stewardess and, you know, just taking care of your kids and doing what you needed to do than having CPS involved so that way you can lose 10 pounds. That just, it doesn't even make any sense. It does not make any sense. It works out for your good. Um, but this, my name is just been tarnished. I'm, I'm very sad about that. I'm not a bad mother at all. Just continue to pray for me. You know, I got oh, to for my kids because 
we act like activities have to be restricted to in the house because what's going on now people recognize me everywhere i go i have to use fake names to order stuff and things like that so okay people recognize you everywhere you go yet and still you're coming to social media and doing a nine minute rant so people can recognize you even more make it make sense you're so scared of people, you know, recognizing you and knowing who you are and you need the money so that way you can do indoor activities with your kids. If you're that scared, you would not be on social media going live and giving this whole explanation and wanting a whole fund me set up. So she's scared of the public, but she's not scared of the public's money. But, um, I think I'd be with me, my kids. Everybody else, and I look a mess. I don't care because y'all done, done saw me looking a mess. Y'all done already saw me. The world done see me looking a mess. So I don't care about me coming on here in my pajamas. Y'all saw me in my bunny. I don't care about me no lashes on. Y'all saw how I was looking in here. So um, it is what it is. Um, everything going to work out for my good. In Jesus' name. All right, bye. In Jesus' name. We'll see you later, ma'am. All right, let me go back to my damn full screen. All right, all right. Okay, th this is a hot mess. Now, I'm going to say this. Like, all jokes aside, um, I hope that she does better herself in this situation. I do not feel bad that she was blasted by the Walmart employee and other people who were there helping her. I think, you know, maybe she was going through it. You know, a lot of people saying, you know, postpartum and things like that. But I also get tired of that being an excuse for everything, postpartum, mental illness, We've all been through stuff, okay? We've all been through stuff. That's no excuse. It's no excuse. You chose to have these children. Where this, the father is, I have no idea because, again, she has very young children, the youngest being five months old. Why was the father not there watching the kids or the father's side of the family? Like I said initially, she's not having these kids by herself. So to me, both parents have dropped the ball with these children, and if you cannot handle, if it's too much for you to handle the first two, why is there a five-month-old involved? It just doesn't make sense. Obviously, she's overwhelmed. She has a lot going on. So why keep having children when it's hard enough for you to deal with the first two? I hope, for her sake, that she just follows the court's orders, that she gets into parenting classes, that she gets the help that she needs. And that she does the right thing before they give her children back to her. Right now, her kids are living with a relative that, I guess, social services, they have vetted. And they said the relative, you know, was a safe option for the children. So do I feel like she should never get her kids back? No, because I feel like, at the end of the day, people can make mistakes. And we have to give people room to grow and do better. Okay? So I hope instead of her shifting the blame and asking for GoFundMe money and you know, feeling jealous because a Walmart employee is eating off of her situation. I hope she uses this time to better herself, get parenting classes, and do what she needs to do for her children because it's not about the material shit that you buy for your kids. That's cute that they got power wheels and cars and, you know, all types of fun stuff to play with, but it's not about that. It's also about the basic necessities. Are these kids being fed three times a day? Are their pampers being changed? Are their clothing being changed? Are they potty trained? Are they leaving out the house in warm clothing? You know, for her to be a children's author and be oblivious to having her child outside in the cold in a pamper just makes no sense. And you could just tell by that little boy, he was going through so much. Just, you know, looking at his eyes, he was going through so much. And like I said, if she can come out in public like that, imagine what's going on at home behind the scenes. So I hope she gets the help that she needs. But I will not be donating to her GoFundMe because it's not the public's job to help her financially. The man who knocked you up three times should be there to pay and give you gas and pay for indoor activities and all that other stuff. It's not, the, it's not social media's job. The reason why social media helped the Walmart lady is because she lost her job. And a lot of people, including myself, felt like Walmart was wrong for taking her job from her. So, the whole situation is a mess. You want the latest news in the streets? Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So, sir, your friends and your family. It's the Lovely TV Show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely TV Show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.